In this problem, we have a region bounded by these graphs, and we're going to spin it about the y-axis and then find the volume of the resulting solid using the shell method. So the first thing we'll do is we'll give a graph of this region. So here is the y-axis, here is the x-axis. So y equals 0 is just a horizontal line, and x equals 0 is the vertical line here. And 5 minus x, if you plug in 0, it puts you here at 5. And if you plug in 5, you get 5 minus 5, so it puts you here at 0. So it looks something like this. We have a triangular region. And we're spinning it about the y-axis. So the y-axis is our axis of revolution. So we're using the shell method. And so in the shell method, our rectangles are always parallel to the axis. So we'll have a vertical rectangle here like this. It's always parallel. So remember, shell parallel, disk is perpendicular. So uh, now we just have to identify the key components for the shell method. So h of x, it's a function of x because we have a vertical rectangle, is the height of the rectangle. p of x is the distance from the skinny part of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So because we're integrating with respect to x, p of x is just going to be x. It's going to vary, right? We're, depending on where you draw the triangle, it's a distance of x. And then h of x, sorry, depending on where you draw the rectangle, it's a distance of x. h of x is the height of the rectangle. In this case, it's just going to be 5 minus x. And that's it. So the volume, remember shell has the 2 pi. We're integrating with respect to x, so we're going left to right, so from 0 to 5. And the formula is p times h, p times h. So it's just x times 5 minus x dx. Okay, now we carefully distribute and integrate. So this is 2 pi, definite integral from 0 to 5. So 5 times x is 5x minus, and then x times x is x squared. And then we have a dx here. We can now integrate each piece with the power rule. So this is 2 pi. Here we have 5x to the 1, so that's going to be 5x squared over 2 minus, here we have x squared, so that will be, that will be x cubed over 3. And we're going from 0 to 5. This is equal to, I'll leave the 2 pi on the outside. First you plug in the 5, so you get 5 times 5 squared over 2 minus 5 cubed over 3. Then you're supposed to subtract and then plug in 0, but the good news is when you plug in 0, everything goes away. So this is equal to 2 pi. So this is 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 125. So we get 125 over 2 minus 125 over 3. So this is 2 pi. If you want to do this by hand, um, you could. It wouldn't be great, but you would do something like this. So this is 125 over 2. And then you want to make uh, the denominator 6. So you multiply by 3 over 3. Then over here, what you do is you want to make it a 6. So you multiply, you multiply by 2 over 2, like this. So this is 2 pi. So it's 3 times 125 over 6 minus 2 times 125 over 6. Now you can subtract the numerators because the denominator is the same. So this is 2 pi. So this is 3 times 125. I'll show an extra step here. Minus 2 times 125 over 6. So 3 times 125 minus 2 times 125 is 1 times 125, which is just 125. 
over 6. And then the 2 on the outside here cancels with the 6. So this is 125 pi, and it's all over 3. And that would be the volume of the resulting solid that you would get when you rotate this area about the y-axis. I hope this video has been helpful.